think for a patient who's had uveitis or inflammation inside the eye before, when you feel the symptoms coming back, you do get that heart sink moment because you've had it before and you know when that light sensitivity or photophobia starts and you get that dull ache around your eye you already know that it's coming back and that you have no control over it. There's nothing you can do to stop it coming. And really, you also know that to get the right treatment, you have to see an ophthalmologist. So it's not something that your GP can sort out because they don't have the equipment to examine the eye and check the pressures. And they would never give you steroid eye drops without you being seen by an ophthalmologist first. And for people who are busy and working, that can be very frustrating because you know what you need to do, but it's not always convenient. Now, in London, the um, eye emergency departments are very well set up for seeing you. You can walk in on the same day, you tell them that you've had uveitis before and they will absolutely prioritise your treatment and get you sorted. However, the wait in the accident and emergency department can be long on some days. If you have insurance or you would prefer to be seen privately, then it is a little bit quicker or certainly more convenient to book that appointment on the same day. So if you have an insurance policy um, or you would like to self-fund your treatment, we can often minimise the wait if you come privately. So you would still be seen the same day, but we can have you in and out of the department a little bit quicker. And for some people, we know that time pressures, I mean, everybody's busy in modern life, time pressures, you know, it may just be worthwhile self-funding your treatment for that day. And um, the main things that we have to be sure of before you give you the steroid is we have to make sure that it is uveitis and not something else because of course you're prone to getting conjunctivitis and scratches on the eye just like anybody else is but uveitis to an experienced consultant I've seen thousands of cases of uveitis so it's not a difficult diagnosis to make but the most important thing is the pressure has to be checked once we know that you've got a relapse of your uveitis we have to make sure that the pressure is within normal limits many people will have had high pressures associated with their inflammation which again is why there is such an urgency to treatment because not only do we need to treat the inflammation and the sooner we get the steroids in the quicker you will feel better you know that but we've also got to get the pressure under control to make sure that you don't end up with collateral damage to the nerve at the back of the eye and like I say if you're an experienced patient you know you will know that that's what you need so don't hesitate if it's more convenient to come and see us privately then please do come and see us because we can absolutely make a a good treatment plan for you. We have the drops in house as well, so you don't have to go to the pharmacy. So it really is time efficient as well as clinically safe. I think for patients who are coming to terms with the fact that this is the first time they've ever had the condition, it's quite an unnerving thing to get your head around because more often than not when you have it for the first time you've probably had some treatment for conjunctivitis to start with and you might have had one or two antibiotics because of course conjunctivitis is more common than uveitis and you think why am I not getting better and we all know if we've seen a doctor and been given a new diagnosis for the first time even if they've explained it beautifully you don't always take in all that information so it can be very helpful to have a consultation privately where you've got more time, you can come prepared with any questions that you might want to ask. Certainly a certain number of patients will have been on Dr Google and searching on the internet and of course we want to make sure that you get relevant information that really truly reflects the clinical trials that's been vetted and that you're not picking up um, information from sort of less reliable sources because the internet can be a frightening place when you're self-researching sort of the, your own conditions um, and I think the time and opportunity to discuss things is really important when you have a new diagnosis of uveitis because we would always tell you look you know we can settle this down but this might come back and there's nothing you can do to stop it coming back and you must come quickly if it does come back and sort of trying to understand that and feeling that it's not a failure on your part that it's come back you haven't done anything wrong I think can be very reassuring and comforting to patients who are coming to terms with this as a new diagnosis and I also think those initial symptoms that have been going on for a week or two can be quite severe first time round you know before you see an eye doctor and come to the correct diagnosis and I think most people would think oh I never want to let it get that bad again you know if it does come back and so again if it's more convenient or quicker to come and see us here depending on what your activities of sort of day living and working are then we would always be delighted to prioritize you and make sure that we had you seen and treated with the right um, drops and medication before you leave the clinic so um, don't waste time 
going to the GP asking them for prescriptions because they really will not be able to do that for you. You just need to come straight to an ophthalmologist, be that in the NHS or privately, um, in order to get on top of the uveitis as quickly as possible.